Hey guys, it's Gawain, and today we are going to be taking a look at one of the most versatile defenders in the game, Aruni. Aruni is a 1 speed 3 armor defense operator that specializes in grenade and projectile denial, sight setup, and fragging. Aruni has a great primary gadget, good guns, a good passive, and a decent secondary gadget. Good Aruni players can make massive impact on their defense rounds, so let's learn how to play her. Aruni is equipped with her laser eggs, of which she gets three. You can deploy these eggs at the top of windows, doorways, and walls, and on top of or underneath hatches. Once deployed, it will create a laser gate covering whatever you deployed it on. The gate will destroy any projectile that tries to pass through it, both enemy and friendly. Every attacker projectile that will get destroyed is on screen now, so take a look at how much your gates can absorb. You'll notice that drones can be destroyed by your laser gates too, but when deployed on doorways there is a gap for a drone to pass under, similarly to how barricades work. When a projectile gets destroyed by your laser gate, it will be temporarily disabled and the laser egg will spark for 30 seconds until expanding horizontally, exposing a soft spot. When you shoot the soft spot, the gate will redeploy. If you or another one of your teammates are within one meter of the gate, then it will be temporarily disabled so you can pass through it because if an attacker passes through it, they will take 30 damage. You can use this on a main wall to kind of trick a hard breach charge or two if you have your egg on the opposite side to you and you stand up close to it so that the thermite or ace or whoever can put the charge on and then you move away to destroy it. But I don't tend to find the strategy to be that worth it as you can't redeploy the gate. I personally put these gates on main windows or doorways to site that attackers will commonly push or throw projectiles through. If playing on a basement site, I will put the gates on the underside of a hatch as defenders will most likely throw grenades through there. I find Aruni's gadget doesn't absorb as many projectiles as a Jaeger or a Mai, so their placement is crucial. The only time I place a Surya gate on a wall is protecting a bulletproof camera, which also leads us to Aruni's unique passive. Aruni has a bionic arm that allows her to punch massive holes in walls, so if you punch too slightly off center on the back side of a reinforced wall, you can slot a bulletproof camera in there so it can't get shot from the side. If you put a Surya gate over it, then attackers will have to use at least two projectiles to get rid of it. As a closing note for this segment, Aruni's laser eggs themselves are indestructible, so feel free to experiment with their placement in strange positions to inconvenience enemies, but remember that high traffic doorways, windows and hatches are the best places for them, and make sure that you or your teammates can redeploy them when possible. Aruni's primary weapon options are the P-10 Roni submachine gun and the Mark 14 EBR marksman rifle. Her secondary weapon is the PRB-92 handgun, and that's the only secondary available to her. I personally use the P-10 Roni for my primary weapon because it's got low recoil still, even after the nerf, and it's got a fast fire rate which makes it a headshot machine. The damage and low mag size can leave something to be desired, especially with all the three armors running around on attack now, but I still don't mind it. The Roni is still a good gun, and there's nothing you can say to convince me otherwise. Although Ubisoft, it would be really nice if you gave it a 20 bullet mag size again because it has a smaller mag than the SMG-11, like come on dude. As for the Mark 14 DMR, it's also a good weapon if you don't want to use the Roni because of the small mag size. I actually swapped this gun on long sightline maps such as consulate, top floor or bank. It's got a good damage stat and semi-automatic fire rate as well as a good mag size and access to a 1.5x scope. It's also a DMR which means the damage fall off is minimal. It is personal preference for Aruni's primary weapons, I just prefer the Roni, but the Mark 14 is of still a very good weapon. As for the PRB, it's an alright pistol and a decent backup weapon if you have to fight multiple enemies at once and your Roni is out of bullets. I also count Aruni's passive as part of her loadout, as Ubisoft has actually confirmed that they gave it to her because they didn't want another secondary shotgun for sight setup. Make rotate holes, sight lines, and whatever else you need to, just leave it to your smoke or mute if they have a shotgun because you are a lot slower than them. In terms of secondary gadgets, Aruni gets access to a singular bulletproof camera or two barbed wire. I choose the bulletproof camera because it can combo with your primary gadget, making attackers waste more resources to clear it than they realistically should. Your passive also combos well with it, as you can place the camera above a hatch and then destroy it, 
similar to what I do with Maestro cams, and yes, I say it correctly now. It also gives you an extra camera feed to watch and an EMP burst to deny drones and whatnot if you're into that. The barbed wire can be useful to create sound cues and slow enemies, I just find bulletproof camera is more oppressive and generally more useful. To start the prep phase, place your laser eggs on main windows, doorways or hatches. Drones can disable them when they get placed down, even in the prep phase, but then the attacker will just kill their own drone for free because you can reactivate your gate in 30 seconds anyway. Next, make rotate holes, sight lines or whatever else you need to with your passive punch to help with a bit of sight setup. After that, place your bulletproof camera overlooking an area around sight in a spot that will be difficult to destroy. Finally, position yourself wherever you see fit. You can roam or anchor with the Rooney, because while she is now a one speed, you have a set it and forget it gadget for the most part. Your teammates playing on sight can reactivate your gates, so feel free to run around and pick up frags if you deem it necessary. To start the action phase, check the outside cams to see where the attackers are coming from and rotate towards that side of the map, ready for them to push that way. Assuming you are anchoring, check cams and call out for your team, but also be ready to rotate out of sight as well. Reactivate any gates that get temporarily disabled if you can to get the most out of them. Don't be scared to enter gunfights with your Roni or DMR, but don't give up your life too easily, as wasting attackers' time is crucial to winning rounds. If you tag an enemy but don't kill them, don't get too greedy and rotate away instead, just to shake them up a little bit and know that you have the health advantage now. Reactivate a gate again if you need to when you rotate back onto site and hold angles waiting for the attackers to push even further. Feel free to check cams and look for enemies' positions to see if you can get a cheeky kill or two. I generally like to shallow roam with a Rooney as she's too slow to run cross map but has the guns to frag out, so playing one or two rooms away from sight is the sweet spot I have found with her. Just make sure your gates are having their potential maximised by your teammates. Aruni has one counter, and it's not really even a counter. This is EMPs of course. You see, Thatcher's EMP disables electronic devices for 10 seconds, and impact EMPs will disable gadgets for 6 seconds. If you disable a laser egg with an EMP, then it will come back on after a maximum of 10 seconds. If you just throw the EMP into the gate, it will be disabled for 30 seconds, and maybe then some, if it doesn't get reactivated. So, ask yourself. Does Aruni really have any counters? No, she doesn't, because she's got an indestructible grenade catching gadget. Place your laser eggs on the inside of sight so you or a teammate can reactivate them without having to run to the other side of the doorway, window, wall or hatch to shoot it. Use the P-10 Roni for a fast firing laser beam that is great in close quarters combat and a headshot machine. Place your gates on doorways that attackers get funneled into just via map geometry. Think garage door on Outback. Use the Mark 14 EBR if you want the 1.5x scope and a weapon that is generally better long range than the Roni. Learn how to be aggressive and slippery whilst playing close to sight, as you are slow and loud, but equipped with good guns which want to be used aggressively. Overall, Aruni is an easy operator to play in my opinion because she's got a very straightforward gadget to place and reactivate, as well as relatively easy to use guns and a free soft destructive passive. There aren't really any downsides to this character apart from the speed, but even then, it's not much of an issue. Learn the best places to deploy your laser eggs, which primary weapon works best for you, how to maximise your passive, and you are sure to become a pretty decent Aruni player. Thank you all for watching, I do hope you enjoyed. If you found this guide helpful in any way, shape or form, please do consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends as it does help grow the channel and that is much appreciated. As always, all the clips you saw in this video were taken from my Twitch stream, link will be on screen and in the description. This is the first long form video of 2023, so I do hope you all had a wonderful new year. Dokubi's next for the Siege series, so I'll see you all then. Goodbye. Oh, purple. <gasps> oh my god, it's a black ice I already had! I think.